and it literally only took th this many tools. It's my kryptonite, I can't fix that stuff. You don't get to go, I'm sorry, little duck. Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we are back with, yes, another video on the rat wagon. Remember the size of the rat that I pulled out of this thing? It was almost a foot long, including the tail, okay? It was huge. I've got the duck locked out today because it's a nice rainy day and the duck needs a bath. So it's just me and Lola on the inside. Today, we're going to address an issue that is keeping this car from going back out on the road. It's the only thing that's keeping this car off of the road. And it has to do with the rear suspension, which does not actually suspend anymore. Yeah, you drive this thing and you're just doing the lowrider thing, okay? It's bouncing like crazy. One problem, two accumulators, and hopefully 30 minutes of work and we'll knock this thing out, all right? So with that being said, let's get to work. That is a backbone to something that got dragged in here and eaten. Please be dead, please be dead. Please. Oh, I smashed his brain. Yeah, we got rain. Hunt for the second vehicle has taken us to <laughs> what are you gonna say? It's just too much for me to screw out. What do you think about this car, Mike? Mikey likes. You like it? Mikey likes. I'm in the car. To access the top of your accumulators, you don't have to remove any of this. I'm just cleaning, okay? You don't have to remove this. They tell you that you do, but you don't. Um, there are two screws when you lift this up. It's here and right here, and then you have a screw on this side and a screw on this side. And this is metal, so it kind of bends and you can bend it back. But if you remove it, you can see I need to do some more cleaning. And that's an accumulator, and that is an accumulator. So once you uh, disconnect everything from the bottom of the car, you can come up into the cab, into the way back section of the car, and remove the accumulators. Then to install them is just the reverse of how you took them out, okay? So, super easy to get to. You don't have to take this whole thing apart, but like I said, I planned on it. I'm kind of doing some extra cleaning because the car's making me super duper happy. And these things right here will, it's metal, so they will fold and go back into place and I'll put the screws in. One, two, three, four. Let's go spelunking it now and I'll show you where the accumulators live. And this is not gonna be the prettiest because it is a car that is so very old. A duck, if you come over here, I'm gonna kick you right in the keister, okay? Stay over there. That is one of the valves, okay? And then right above it, which is very difficult to see, right there. Hopefully you can see, that is the accumulator. It's an E13 to open that dude up. I've got everything kind of lubed uh, down so we can get her off. But that didn't sound good at all, did it? I'm sorry about that. Okay, so then the other one is right here. Can you see that? That's a much better picture. Okay, so the bottom's an E13. I also need an 11 brake line uh, to release what's going into it, and then that hose goes back out to your shock, which is right over there. See it going up and down? Yeah, so let me try to spend some time loosening this up. Well, I think we have achieved success because I know this one's loose. So hopefully this one will just lift up and out. And it's not. All right, well, what about you? Oh, come on, what's holding you in? Here it is. Here we go. One. Let go. What's still holding you on? Uh, hold on. Gee, many Christmas. This is the messiest job ever. Okay, I think we have this one. I think we're ready for removal on this one. And this is the root of all of our problems right there. One accumulator full of really, really gross transmission fluid. So I've ruined a hat trying to get this thing out. And the little fitting right there on the side, on the 
driver's side, it's okay. On the passenger side over here, I think I'm going to have to remove the half axle because the, you can't get at the little uh, woo, hose that goes in here. Okay, like a brake line, exact same fitting, exact same everything, which is a pain in the butt. And I can't, I can't reach it to make it let go. So no matter how hard I try to move this thing, see, I've got it loose except for that hydraulic line and I just can't let it make it let go which is oh so much fun so we're gonna go to the junkyard do something that makes me happy and then I might you might even ride a bike because this car is fighting me every step of the way so we'll be back I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna try to find some new right here washers for this, okay, because you need to get four copper washers. This one looks okay. I mean, it's dirty as crap. And it's under such high pressure. This is a banjo fitting. See how the holes? Okay. Anyway, we'll see if I can. I have a whole bunch of washers, but we're just going to try to find some. <sighs> but first, I got to make myself happy. It is the next morning. I was up until 1230 last night trying to get this last one installed. So... The accumulator on the driver's side, it's its a breeze. Other than that little connection, like the brake line connection, it's a breeze. On this side, you're dealing with the valve, the leveling device, and your, actually, it turns out, your uh, axle. So this is the new unit to us, okay? And what I've done is resort to wizardry, and I'm trying to get the right angle because when you have those... Um, brake lines and you try to put them in you know they got to go in the right way and I just can't do it let me show you what I've what I've done so far because this is this is pretty amazing so if we're going under here and this is where I was living last night for hours and hours and hours you'll notice the fluid is still leaking it's ruining my floor <laughs> it's a mess Okay, if you'll notice, something's been moved. Yeah, I've had to move the drive shaft. Hopefully you can see that. This is your valve body right here. This is what kind of proportions, you know, makes the car go up and down, depending on the load back here. And the offending unit, uh, come on. Mike, I, I want to get up here, but I don't want to get covered in oil already because I've had to wash my clothes several times. Okay, that little brake line connector right there, I can't get it in. I've tried and tried and tried. The problem is the line into the valve system right here is so short and it's a steel line and there's no give and take. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to get it to work. And I have been fighting this thing, so I'm gonna give myself one more hour, and then I'm done. I'll hire somebody to come out here and put that in, because I'm done. Life is too short. Re really, remember the, the saying? Yeah, chill and live longer. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give myself an hour to put it in, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll get it in there. So let the clock begin. Well, it is with great anticipation and excitement that uh, Mr. Monkey Wrench Mike and Lola announced the birth of two accumulators. We had twins. Yeah, no, we got them in. These are the old ones. Okay, look at this. One old one. The one on this side, <laughs> oh, it was a pain in the you-know-what. As I told you, I had to remove the drive shaft, and I had to resort to calling a, a mobile mechanic. I actually called three of them. They wanted $150 to $200 to come out and literally reach up there, align the little brake line that goes into this hole right here and screw it in because that's, it's my kryptonite. I can't fix that stuff and I look like crap. I know, I know, but I'm so excited because we got it fixed. So let's go below and show you what it looks like. We have our crappy light to take us down below and it literally only took th this many tools and heat, and cold, and a pipe, and all of this, okay? It was, it was just all these tools. I mean, there's only like 40 in there, okay? So, 
this was a very difficult thing to do. So let me put on my glasses. Here we go. All right. Now, ugh, my goodness gracious. Ugh. Okay, I need another light. Watch out, Lola, because I'm going to turn on a light. Here we go. Okay, so this is the offender right there. Okay, see the little, oh my goodness. Yeah, can you see the brake line going up into that? Yeah, right there. That was so much fun. I can't even get it on camera. It is so tight up in there. There you can kind of see it. There you go. Not the green lines, the gray one. Okay, and I had to remove oh, the drive shaft, which was so much fun. On this side, it's a breeze. It was actually kind of fun to fix it over here. Can you see? Ugh, here it is. Yeah, so that was that's the good one. The pain in the rear is the passenger side, but as you can see, she's all buttoned up. We have identified some terrible fuel lines and a fuel filter that absolutely needs to be changing. That fuel filter I don't think I've messed with. The back one here I think I did replace with the used one that I had because this one was the one that was just completely full of junk. So I think we're ready to take her down off of the stands and see if she's gonna work. So let me kind of do the warm dance. I got my good pants on too. Yeah, and my good shoes. I'm just living in the slums here. And we will uh, see if she's gonna level, rise to the occasion. That's what she's gonna do. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, when we start her. Well, she moves now. That's good. That's a great sign. Whew. You gonna raise for us? Is she going up? I mean, I have a suspension now, which I think is fantastic. Hopefully, uh, no leaks. No leaks. I think we fixed it. Ha <laughs> ha. I think, by Joe, we have fixed it. Well, it's the next day. As you can see, I have my Insta360 and a duck. So I think we're prepared to finish this video. All right. This is the car. Um, hopefully. There we go. We're going to take her for a spin and see if we fixed her or not. All right. And if she got fixed, then we may wash and wax her. You don't get to go. I'm sorry, little duck. It's just me in the car. Okay. Ugh. Let's just see what's going to happen. Hopefully, we will have a nice, comfortable suspension. <sighs> and we will take it another major step forward. Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> oh, great. Okay, I think we have ignition. We're gonna leave the duck and it's time to mow the yard. I mean, spring is here and we gotta get to working on this thing. So let's just take her down around the block real quick and we'll see. She just seems awfully low. Okay, now we're prepared. I peer, I don't know if I'm riding low. Or what? What the hell was that?
Okay, well, you know what? I can tell she's fixed, okay? The car's leveled out. I'm not bouncing around like I would be before. And I'm realizing I need a new steering wheel because this thing is toast. It is dry as can be and very, very hard. But we fixed it. We did. Watch this. See? No big ka chunk -ka chunks A nice, smooth ride. And those things that are rolling around in the back, those are my accumulators. Let's see if we can get around here. Okay. Okay, that was that was the first big bump that we've taken and it felt great. That was good. How about this? Okay. Here's one of the speed bumps in the neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, she's so much better. She is so much Oh, look at this. We got us a W210, a little cabriolet. All right, well, I can tell you already, I'm very happy. This, this is a major step forward, so this is a huge success. All right, everybody, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you for joining me on this journey as we get this old girl back on the road. What should we do next? Next, Is there something else that uh, we need to fix? Well, we need to get rid of the old accumulators in the back, but we gotta fix whatever's squeaking right there too. But I'm happy, I'm really, really, really super happy, okay? So thanks for watching, folks. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. We're back with another video very, very soon. I got those walk around videos. I got some electric bike reviews coming up. And of course, lots of videos where we're getting our hands dirty. And boy, did we get our hands and face and back and hair dirty in this one. It was a mess, okay? Have a great day, everybody. Bye.